Hey, Britt. Hey, buddy. How are you today? Good. Sorry, it was uh, not letting me connect at first, but now I think I'm good. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds so rich. How was your day so far? Let me... Pretty busy, just uh, doing a bunch of band stuff in the morning. Um, got a bunch of tours we're announcing, so it's uh, been pretty busy making sure. There's so many... Sorry. Oh. There's so many... Um... There's so many details of... Uh when you're announcing tour dates it's uh yeah yeah <laughs> you know you got to get all the ticket links and make sure everything's good with the promoters and everybody's announcing at the same time and it's a lot of a lot of stuff going on so it, it, it's yeah. busy work but it's fun sounds good sounds good Rich. sorry so let me uh there yeah. we go my camera fell, my camera <laughs> fell over there we go so anyways yeah just been a busy morning we're announcing a bunch of tour dates so um yeah just a lot a lot going on it sounds good sounds good Brett. so Brett. March 25th, you're releasing your self-titled album. So can you tell me a bit about the making of the album, the songwriting and the production behind this new album? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a completely different experience this time because we have a brand new singer. So, um, you know, it'd been a long, it's been many years since we had uh, different singers in Ignite. We started with a couple different guys. Um, but yeah, we got really lucky. We found this really cool guy that, um, that we really just get along with on a personal level. And I think that's really so important when you're trying to do anything creative. Um, you don't want negative distractions. And uh, it, we just really clicked with him very quickly on a personal level. So, you know, it was right as the pandemic was starting, we were looking for a singer, which was also crazy. Um, and, you know, we just made a, a deadline for uh, ourselves in Ignite that we're going to, by the end of 2020, we're going to find a singer. And we did. And then we just kept setting more and more deadlines. Okay, we need to have 30 songs written. Okay, now we have 30 songs. Let's turn it into 15 songs. Pick the best ones. And we just kept making these deadlines and we kept achieving our goals. And we really wanted to be in the studio. Um, by june of 2021 and we were and it was amazing so we worked with the same production team that we'd worked with on the last two records actually the same guys we've been working with for 20 years so that was a very comfortable feeling we got in the studio with cameron webb and we were just very prepared we were just all the songs were written um before we went in the studio we demoed them twice each and yeah it was amazing it was just a really cool experience Wonderful, wonderful, Brett. And was there any particular concept that was put behind this album? We kind of wanted to turn the clock back a little bit. We wanted to kind of touch and come and in, get in touch with our earlier uh, hardcore and punk rock roots. Um, we wanted to make sure this album came out aggressive yet melodic. So I think also knowing that albums are... They used to be albums used to be 18, 19, 20 songs <laughs> back when everybody was just putting it out on CD and not vinyl anymore. But now it's, uh, it was easier to focus on a group of 10 or 11 songs that we thought could really like get across like the energy and the vibe that we wanted to portray. Like, here's our new singer. It's going to be fast. It's going to be energetic, melodic. Um, so that was the goal is just to, you know, hit hard. Wonderful, wonderful. And... We spoke already about the new singer, Ellie Santana. So yeah. uh, in the beginning when it was announced, the fan section was how Ignace is going to sound like the new singer. And people are very much worried and things. But when when the songs actually came out from the band, it was like, wow, this this is so amazing. So that's how oh. the reaction became. So how, how, how does it feel like work along with Ellie Santana? And how do you feel about uh, all the new things that is standing up for the band? It's great. I mean, it's just, you know, we're just working hard, working together. We were actually in the, in the studio yesterday working on some new material already because it always takes so long to record and then put an album out. So we're already working on new stuff for the next record. Um, it's just positive. It's just fun. It feels like how it was when we started the band, you know, when, you, when you're together for so long in a band, there can always become distractions and there can always become negative things. But this is just really refreshing now. It's like, 
It feels like how it was in the early days for us. And that's the biggest, biggest, biggest thing for me is that it feels the feel is the feeling is just really good. And it feels like the early days. Wonderful. Great. And uh, is there any plan for March 25th on the day of the release? There was a plan, but we all know that COVID likes to change the plan. So we were supposed to be in Europe um, for the release on this uh, really cool tour with a bunch of bands and that got uh, pushed back. So we're trying to figure out a cool event to do on the release day. We have some more videos and songs coming out before the album comes out. So um, yeah, we're trying to stay as busy as possible. Um, hopefully this COVID pandemic will be ending soon and everybody can get back to normal because we really just want to go play concerts. We really want to go on the road. We really want to push this new, uh, these new songs and let people hear them live. Yes. yes. And uh, how are the recording plans for you in US as of now? The rec which plans? I'm sorry? In US, do you have some touring plans after the release of the album? So today we just announced, or yesterday we just announced uh, 10 shows that we're going to do in May. And it starts in Denver and it ends in Philadelphia. So that's going to be the first uh, bit of US touring we're going to do, which we're all really excited about. You know, we're playing some cool shows. Denver's with Murphy's Law. Philadelphia's with Snapcase and Earth Crisis and Strife. So I think there's going to be some fun shows that we're going to do out there and introduce our new singer to the world, or at least to the United States. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, right? And the band was, the formation goes way back to 1993. So how yeah. does all these years look like and how has the road been for you so far? I mean, it's most of my life now. Well, it's half of my life has been spent in this band and... You know, it was just something that we started back then. Um, me and our original guitar player, Joe, started this. And there wasn't really a lot of expectations to do something big. We just wanted to do something that we liked. And the opportunities start started coming very, very early. Um, I mean, in the first 15, 16 months of the band... We put a seven inch out, then a European label heard the set, the music. And so in the first year and a half, we did a seven inch, an album and two European tours and a U.S. tour. So it, we were really lucky to have these opportunities. And uh, but when every time there was an opportunity in front of us, we wanted to really take advantage of it and, and see where we could go with this. So the road has been cool. It's been interesting along the way. There's great moments and there's, you know, difficult moments. But I think that goes with anything creative or any business that people are working on. Wonderful. And uh, would you like to share some of the great moments? I know there would be a lot of great moments, but something very specific that you want to share with me today. Well, I mean, so for me, I love being on the road. I love being, I love touring. And when we get to play these music festivals in Europe or even in America now, um, where you get to play with some of your favorite bands like Metallica, or we played a lot with Slayer and Motorhead. And then we also on these big festivals always get to see our friends from all around the world, like the guys in Hatebreed or the guys in AFI. And it's always, I love crossing paths with our friends in crazy places like Belgium or, you know, like, you know, a cool summer festival in Italy, or we did a really cool festival in Indonesia. Um, yeah, th those are my favorite moments is uh, playing these big festivals with really cool bands and, uh, you know, crossing paths with our friends that we've made from around the world. That sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. And what will be some of the upcoming plans after the release of the album? Well, we're just trying to book as many tours as we can. So we have a lot of uh, dates in Europe that we're working on right now. There's uh, some festivals for the summer that we've already announced. Um, we're going to hopefully go over uh, in May and June and then back in August. So, yeah, we're just trying to fill the calendar with, uh, some, with tour dates because um, that's really the best way, I think, to get your music out there is to go play in front of people, you know. Yeah, that sounds great, Brett. And, uh, Brett, finally, what would be the message that you want to give to the fans around the world? I mean, we're back. The, we're excited about this next, this new chapter of Ignite. Ignite's gone through many different chapters. 
And this is, uh, I think, going to be a really fun chapter for us and for the fans because <clears throat> I think we always wanted to put out, well, I know I always wanted to put out more music. We sometimes took a long time in between albums, six years, one time, 10 years. So the goal and the whole thought process for us now is to put out more music because we love writing. We love being in the studio. We love touring. And it's always really cool when you write a new piece of music and you go out and play it on the road. and You see that people know these songs and are singing them back to you. So I, I that experience is awesome. So we're really looking forward to uh, more albums and more touring and becoming even more full-time band. Wonderful, Red, wonderful. And Red, it's a real pleasure to meet you today and have this interview. It's a real pleasure for me. And thanks for making the amazing music for decades now. It's a real pleasure listening to the band and to you guys. It's a real great uh, moment and uh, journey of music to, to, your, to you guys. So that's totally awesome. And thanks again for this interview, Red. It's a real pleasure for me. Thank you very much. Have, have, a, have a great day. You too, Red. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.